Welcome to another episode of the Oxygen Not Included Beginner Guide series. And for those who have been wondering where this has been, I got COVID and I have now recovered from it, but that is why it has been a bit. <laughs> I'm, so I am a bit unsure on what we are going to be doing. Mm. This does not seem to be working quite right. And I'm unsure why. The water there is fine. Uh, let's try disinfecting that. Um, we could send this water through the system to clear out the germs. I can't tell if that water that's falling is germy or not. No, it seems to be going down, so I don't think what's landing in here is germy. Okay, it's just that some germy water ended up in here. Okay, good. So that'll be part of what I'm doing, is clearing out the germs of this. I'm going to also potentially see about setting up one of these rock crushers. Let's see, does it have automation uh, allowed? So it would be kind of nice if we could get this to be automated in a bit. So red signal disables the building. So let's see about research for that first. Smart storage. So we've already researched that. So that'll be the other thing I want to try to do as well as get that water done. And the biggest thing I want to try to get done is have our duplicate get to the point where they can build this because that will help with a lot of the jobs that we have going on. So uh, let's start with maybe the smart battery, uh, smart storage rather. So we'll put here and then if we read this, it sends a green signal when full and disables building on red. So we're going to need a not gate, I think. So when this storage gets full, it'll have a green signal, which will convert to a red signal, which will then disable this building, which means then that the duplicates can't use it, so they won't craft anymore. So what we can do is set it to always make that thing and if we have enough, it'll disable the building and they'll stop using it. So we'll let them get that started. We needed automation wire there to there. And then let's think about this guy. I'm going to assume what happened here was the very first packet that entered the water was germy and it's just kind of spreading out. And then since then, it has all been clean water. I'm going to adjust the duration. Let's see. I have that one on 10. I'm going to maybe go just a little less so that we're always having a little bit of water in here so that that first packet that enters will always be some of that clean water and then it stops there. Whereas if we're draining too much at once, um, then we're getting this germy water sent in, which is not, not what we're wanting. So this guy should turn off. Yep. Uh, let's see. This water is not germy at the moment, so I may just real quickly just allow a little bit before any more water comes from the bathrooms. So that we can guarantee that this is now uh, un-germy. Okay, so that's going. We've got this pipe going on. Alright, so... Let us bring this piping like so for right now. And then I'm going to want a switch like so. And then I'm going to be making this for uh, converting iron for now. And then we could repeat the system for anything that we want to um, control the amount we have. Would be nice if this was like RimWorld and you could just set that in the work queue. Like if we could just pick this and one of the options is produce until we have this much, but we'll figure it out through automation instead. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Good, we're not cramped. Wait, someone's glum though. Hungry. There is food in there, so I don't know why they're hungry. 
We're also waiting for these guys to get, uh, to have a glossy egg. That'll be nice so we can start making plastic. Oh, right. Uh, let's check here. Some water. Hmm. We don't really need anybody at the moment. So let's just put that. Is it? Okay, good. It's a bottle of water. <laughs> and then we need some research going. So we've gotten everything in the first two done. So I guess we'll start working our way down the next one. A sweepy dock. You can use this to make like notifications based on your automation. I think I'll start with the germ sensor. <laughs> Okay, we've got this built. We need a bit of power. Alright, so what we're gonna want to do is this is going to hold our cop nope. Uh, refined copper. Let's get it out of here. And uh, we'll have this as priority. So I've set it up to be maybe half the storage. What are we Okay. So we're we're getting close to full. Good. And then once the wire and everything's get set up, we can set this to go forever on the copper ore. So let's just check to make sure everything's working right. Currently, it is saying to do it. So I've adjusted it here. So I don't want to convert too much of our copper because there are more, there are better machines to be doing this. This uh gives you half the refined for how much copper ore you put in or there's something where you get a one-to-one -one. so i don't want to convert too much and let's see if we get up to full soon all right we'll need some power down in this guy which we can steal from there let's get this turned off until i'm ready wow yeah, they go through research so fast <laughs> Right, I'm just gonna go down and uh, down the line. Ooh. Actually, that first, and then we'll go down the line. I feel like these liquid or mini liquid um, and air filters could be very useful. Uh, not filters, pumps. These guys don't look too pleased. Protecting. This creature is guarding something special to them and will likely attack if approached. Oh, maybe the egg. Uh, let's cancel this for now. <laughs> Don't need our duplicates getting attacked by some angry rock crab things. What is what is happening here with these? Oh, these dracos got caught in some sand that fell on them. That sucks. There you guys go. <laughs> Oh, right. Uh, we probably should... This has been... Um, analyzed. So let's go ahead and build in this wall. And then we're going to need to... Build some insulated tile here. Okay. Let's double check. So, this is now full. It is sending a green signal. Which means... We're converting that to a red. So this building is now disabled and so no one is going to come and work on it. So that's how we can automate uh, that system. Now for the water we've got going on here. Let's go ahead and turn this on and then turn it off. So this should be going in with a bit of germs and we are almost germ free. Oh figured that would happen. <laughs> so we're gonna wait for uh, this this to get less germy and then send it on into the next one or let the cycle do its thing whichever happens first. Good lord you guys are germy. It does occur to me that I am uh, having the water move from this one into the next one right after a big uh, bathroom usage because I have it first thing in the morning. So that's probably uh, also something I could adjust to make it work a little better. Oh my god, I just realized. Okay, hold on. We have our uh, 
glossy droplet egg right here. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, it's not... Okay, it's not uh, being swept. So we could actually... Maybe crack that droplet egg. Um, because now that we will have uh, glossy, we don't really want any more of the just regular Draco. I don't know if I... Oh yeah, I did mention it. Uh, I was trying to block that off so that the cold will stop moving around. What's off gassing here? Chlorine? Let's get uh, a little bit more in the way of uh, ladders here. Let's uproot that. So we can get that chlorine put away. And then I've also blocked off up here. I used to... It looks like I used a pretty warm material to build that tile, which is a little unfortunate, but not surprising with how warm like this whole system is. <laughs> okay, so I've also been digging over. I am very surprised that these can hold this water, but happy it's doing it. It does suck about that germ, though. Oh, is that because this is all polluted? It is. All right, so let's grab a deodorizer. Let's get that guy here. Quite the adventure for our power line, but probably best to get that um, cleaned up. Uh, so this line... That one has such a low potential. So... I could have also taken these guys onto a different one, so let's do that. There's no reason for it to go all that way. <laughs> and then I may feel a little more power. Get a, a bridge here. And we'll bring that wire up onto this middle one. But yeah, I've I want to try to build up some insulation here as well. Oh my god, the slime one. <laughs> Goodness, you guys. <laughs> Let's get some disinfection going on here. Because, goodness. Let's see what we have here. Ah, this is one of the new duplicates. I love how she looks. I don't really need another duplicate, especially not one who farts a lot. Just not worth it. I might just reject all. Because we have plenty of hatchlings. One thing you should be aware of when you're building nice teleporting uh duplicate we have here. Um when you they like build on a block and there's something there, I think it almost always will go off to you good in? Okay. Uh, it'll always go off to the side, and if that's not available, it'll go up on top. But if you're building into an area, you need to be aware of that, because if this was an empty space, if they built this tile, we'd lose this stuff over into this square. Ooh, we have some hydrogen up here. So let's run this for a minute. What do we have here? Polluted oxygen. Would be nice if we didn't get some of that into our system. Since I'm not really filtering out... Oh, no, I am filtering out twice. So the blue doctor will be heading on out again, but... This seems like a good spot maybe for a filter. A uh, deodorizer. Alright, perfect. Let's go ahead and get that turned off again for a bit. For those who don't know what we're doing, we're trying to fill this room with hydrogen, just kind of passively. I could get out of my way to find like a pocket like this uh, to vent it over, but... I'm just kind of waiting it for it to naturally pool up here and then when there's some I'll just turn it on and fill it. Alright, so on this side we have found our border right here. Which is kind of what I was expecting. Hopefully they'll get this uh, dealt with soon. We have another blueprint and I'm just going to uh, print these eggs and move them to storage. Uh, and then they'll just go down here. So we can get meat in a bit. We've gotten our barrier here built up, and as you can see, there's already now a temperature difference between the two. 
if we wanted to be really thorough, we could do a double layer of insulation, but I think this should work. It'll at least be much better than it has been. I think that makes it, as far as I can see, fully uh, capped off. The reason you want to keep like cold biomes kind of separate is because they can be useful for cooling off your base or uh, basically you just want to be able to use the cold to your advantage at some point and if we're just letting some biome next to it melt it off it's not going to do us any good. So having them kind of keeping this cold until we're ready for it probably the best we could do for it. Since I don't want all the materials that they have dug up here, I mean they are working on cleaning it up, but they haven't finished cleaning that up, so I might have my ladder go off one. Uh, B for build buddy. And we will head down maybe here. And we'll see what we find down this side. Okay, so this guy is dormant, so I might take down this wall and have it be analyzed. See we've got that guy. I'm trying to decide where I want to like venture up and down over here. And then over this side I've started venturing down. What do we got here? Some salt water. So we're gonna keep doing that this direction. So keep exploring. going to continue up this direction once this uh, egg is hatched, so hopefully that's what they're protecting. And then I have built a wall here since I don't want this polluted water to expand. So I have this side, it's completely clean at the moment. Um, and then once we have the plastic to filter out the germy water, we could, we could deal with this better. But for now we're keeping our germ-free stuff over here. Uh, it does, the system is really putting in any more germs, so that's good. It's just that initial, like, dump of germy water that was the problem. And it is, uh, spreading very slowly. Um, but it should be fine. What we need, if they need to pull it out here, they can grab it here. Uh, it's only really for food that I'm concerned about, them being able to grab the clean water. Oh, I've built, I don't remember if I said this, but I built a new dock. So that we can have five people going out this direction. It just seems to be the side we're doing a lot of the work on at the moment. Uh, and there's just not a whole lot going on this direction. Who's out and about? Oh yes, I saw someone down here. Bubbles carrying uh, stuff, which I appreciate. So yeah, we just need less docks on this side. So I built a new one over here, built a new suit. And then this has been working pretty well. We have this completely full, so they're not using it up. And so anytime I use it... Uh, they'll craft more and I don't have to really think about it. So yeah, that was our day. It was a little more... Uh, there was less of a single project we were working on in this episode, but that's okay. It, that's just how it, it works with this game. Sometimes you're working on something really big and another time you're just kind of watching your colony and keeping things going and fixing little problems as they pop up. Um, do let me know if you guys have something in mind that you are unsure about and would like uh, me to kind of cover uh, and I can do that for you. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.